What I have here is a model of a illegal whiskey steel site will look like. This is his cap that goes on the top of his pot. The cap. Put the cap on it like the lid, seal it off, build up the pressure. When he cranks this thing up to run it, you can hear it. It sounds like a jet engine. This like, And then the vapor comes over to this thing here. The thumper. The thumper, yeah. What the thumper does is it catches a lot of the big impurities that kind of just comes up through the steel that doesn't turn into a vapor. We call this the thumper because when it builds up pressure, it goes to do, to do, to do. That's how you get that bloop, 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 bloop. Now, what is this? It's the worm. And yeah, that's the worm, and it it's, it's acts as a condenser. This is the, the cold water. Now, as the vapors come back over into here, of course, the cooling box has the worm set inside of it, and it's filled full of water. And the effect of this going from hot to cold turns that vapor back to liquid. Yeah. So as we catch it and filter it here, then we put it in this tank here. The proof and barrel? Proof and barrel. How about that? <laughs> you know everything, all the Ace. steps. <laughs> we take all the alcohol out of here. We put it all in the proof and barrel. So it's kind of like consolidating the proof. Mix. Yeah, it's blending and mixing it to get one proof. And that's when the little tricks of their trade will come into proofing it. The first run will probably be about 100, 110 proof liquor. So sometimes they'll cut it with some water. Generally, the end results will be about 85, 88 proof liquor. And then you jug it up. If you do it all right, you should get about 10% of what your mash you got. From this 800 gallon pot, he can produce anywhere from 100 to 120 gallons per run. A lot of work, but they can do it. Once the mash reaches 175 degrees, the alcohol contained inside turns to vapor. The vapor then travels through a pipe to the thump keg, where the alcohol doubles in proof. There, it bubbles through a small amount of moonshine held at the bottom of the barrel. The alcohol vapor then travels through another pipe to a coil of copper pipe that sits inside a barrel of ice cold water known as the worm barrel. Inside the coil, or worm, the alcohol condenses into the liquid known as moonshine. Finally, the moonshine is transferred to the proofing barrel where it's cut with water and piped into jugs. 